The students with the NYTCOM Medical School at Arkansas State have been learning and working with this for about four years. Officials want to make sure that whatever specialty a student uses, they are comfortable with telemedicine. Since COVID has clearly been a lot bigger interest, and so we actually offer a certificate program. So as students go through the first and second year and into the third and fourth year, they have an opportunity to not only learn telemedicine, but also get a certificate. So it shows that they have a greater experience. This pandemic has brought telemedicine to the forefront as doctors work to interact with patients without infecting themselves or anyone else. The students are being taught through lectures and labs, telemedicine education, rules and regulations, billing and coding, as well as making patients feel engaged. Try to focus the students on having good eye contact with the camera so that they have good engagement with the patient so the patient feels connected. So there's certain things that we have to because of technology that we teach the students in that process. Although not all health problems can be treated virtually, they can still check vital signs and conditions. This can also reduce the amount of PPE needed by health care providers. I don't want them to feel that just because they're in a particular specialty that they can't have telemedicine part of the practice. I want them to know that no matter what they do, some portion of that can be helping rural and underserved communities. And it's not just rural. A lot of urban deserts and a lot of people in urban areas that don't have access to health care services. And so we want to make sure no matter what that we can use technology to provide health care for them. Now, Dr. Summers says he hopes the state and the government continues to make telemedicine a part of the practice for the future. For Northeast Arkansas News, I'm Sydney Thompson in Jonesboro.